Hello everyone, my name is Alex, and this is a video to make up for the video that's supposed to come out today. So this is going to be extremely short. For whatever reason, my video got corrupted, so this is just going to be quick. In and out. Quick adventure, and then we're done. So, <clears throat> as most of you know, I've been working on a P16 now for a little bit over a year uh, on and off for farming sim. So this was the original model. This was designed in Fusion 360 before I learned how to use Blender and was based on well, a few different trucks and the SnowRunner truck and just a bunch of other things going on. And as you can see, it's very rough. Um, I had not learned a lot. So, um, you know, the, the engine is, you know, there, but it's not great. Um, you know, it's, it's a good looking truck, like overall, but it's not where I wanted it to be. So I spent six or seven months on this channel trying to make something out of that CAD model. So as you can see, like there's a lot of artifacts and everything else, uh, and this wasn't a very good base starting thing. Uh, this model is 300 and some odd thousand tries uh, without the, the wheels. This, However, it's not. This was made completely in Blender and has an AO bake applied to it and a bunch of normal maps and, and everything else. This is where I am currently at. Uh, it is kind of close, but kind of not close at all at the same time. Uh, the, the texture bake is not right in a few places. You can see my unwrap job is not the best and this is causing some shadowing issues and everything else, but we have a lot of normal textures going on to, to add some life, uh, especially around the doors. I'm going to just stand here and look at them for a second. Hopefully YouTube compression is going to be kind. I'm trying to record this in 4K, so if you see any stutters, I am sorry. But the entire model has been stripped down and redone and I know it doesn't look like there's going to be an engine in there but there is I promise I think on this version and we even have the full steering set up for the linkages and everything but that's not all so we've got custom hoses for all the watering systems for the brakes and the fuel and airlines and everything like that we've got drive shafts that aren't in the right location but it'll be fine so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to hop into a little thing called ProShot that we have available in the PC. So, sorry for... I think I can get rid of the HUD. Let's see here. Yeah, I can get rid of the HUD. So, it should be able to slow right down. Can I? Yeah, there we go. I haven't used this in a while. <laughs> so, let's see if we can snake on in here. What motor do I have in this? Do I have a textured one? No, I don't. Dang, you guys are missing out on all the fun stuff, but as you can see, it is a fully modeled uh, V16. The exhaust is where it's supposed to go and all that fun stuff. Uh, if we sneak up under the truck, I've got the base transmission, no no jack shaft. Uh, it's just got the flywheel housing, which this truck just has, and then you have an, an Allison 6061, I do believe. Uh, this is the old model. The new model should be on the latest version whenever I get around to it. Uh, again all the custom hoses and everything like that and I still have to do everything on the rear ends so it's not done but it is pretty good for my skill level and it is coming along but that's not the main reason I brought you here so the dashboard is a work in progress and has been an absolute bear to get done correctly as you can see I'm trying to do all the labeling and each one of these switches I want to toggle and work correctly so if you turn on headlights the headlight switch should go up um, we've got amps your brake air your uh, start key switch all that fun stuff is all modeled and ready we even have maximum speed uh, the truck and tractor weight and all that stuff uh, yeah it's it's pretty good I even uh, Went a little little overboard here with all the hoses for underneath the dash. Now, this may look like it's a ton of polys. This is 50,000 less polys than the, uh, the, than the original. So I've learned some stuff. Now, I did say that that doesn't include the, the wheels and tires. Uh, the original truck 
has some custom wheels that I made a long time ago. It was one of the very first pieces I made in Blender. I made them before I even made the 5020 and the rings and everything for them. Those were my custom models. The tires are built into um, GE, Giants Editor, and um, they're, they're there, they're the counties. These, however, are not. So these are my custom built wheels and tires. All, I think they're like 25,000 poly. I'm trying to work a way to get them uh, down, but they look amazing and I love them and I would not change them for the world. The next thing that I've been working on and has taken me ages and ages, so if I hop in this guy and we start him up. You know, I, I was pretty happy with this sound a long time ago. Uh, this is the remastered Big Bud sound that we spent ages and ages and ages on. So if I accelerate. I mean, she's got the howl. It sounds, it sounds okay. Okay. Now let's see what my other guy sounds like. And I, I probably will have to turn this down in post. I have not selected a volume correctly. So let's go ahead and fire up this guy. So these are all new custom sounds. Um, I found a really good uh, clean running sound of a 12V71 Detroit uh, without turbos and was able to put that through a few synthesizers and get them running. So if I accelerate. Let's get him out on here on the road. Oh, okay, I'm on the UK. Yep. I really wanted a, a map with relight, so here we are. But it's definitely, it's got the, the growl that I really wanted, and I think that that's amazing. So, uh, for right now, I will probably have the sound pack linked uh, in my Patreon. That will be something that will not be necessarily free, uh, as it is taking me ages to, uh, to get that working. Let me, uh, show you one other thing here. There's also one other part of this mod that I've been working on, and that is its pole trailer. Again, uh, modded and modeled by me, so it is a, a spicy boy. Uh, T-Bone from NMC did help me out a little bit. It's got some weird physics things going on that we still need to, uh, to figure out, but they've been working on their very own game projects. I haven't been bothering them, but uh, the bunk is just a model from, from that, so that helped out uh, a lot. Tires, again, are the same, but I need to make some, uh, some different uh, hubs for this. I'm probably going to end up using the, the front as the outsides here, uh, just to make it look better, because gear reduction hubs on the trailer doesn't make too awful much sense. But it does have a party trick. So if I come into here, and I can scoot this in and out for different uh, different link logs, and uh, you know, tension belt does work. And it also has one more party trick. So I've given myself a little bit of a uh, little bit of super strength here. I gotta remember where this goes, but I'm pretty sure it sits about like this. And I should be able to attach that guy. Still have full control of it. Oh no, don't do that. So it should sit there like that. I, I was unsure of how this sits, but uh, yeah, so you get your uh, you know, your nice little uh, over the headache rack. And it sits down in the in the little guys here. So I thought that that was uh, pretty cool. I do enjoy this, but this is nowhere near coming out. There are so many things left to go, and if people would like to say, "Oh, that's just the Snow Runner Pacific," um, it's literally not. <laughs> like 
nothing on this is the SnowRunner uh, Pacific. This is built off of pictures, and you guys have seen me mod this on stream and everything else. This is all made from uh, reference photos and measurements and everything like that from uh, one, one of the groups is PacificTruckClub.org, and I've been talking to a few people on Facebook that run these trucks about sizes and where they're going to get things and, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's it's just one of those things that takes I, an just abnormal amount of time to, to make. And I've been having fun with it. Every once in a while, I'll fire a blender and continue to work on it. This is pretty much my my go-to relaxing project but uh hopefully there is some value to be had from uh this little video showing off you know it's not just about modeling in details you need to do normals uh also this thing has a lot of 2k textures i think i'm yeah i'm probably over the budget limit this thing is a fairly large file size um so i have to learn some more there uh, for compression sake to, to save load time and some RAM times, but it runs fine on a 2060, and we're running relight at the same time, and it seems to be doing A-OK -okay if I hit F2. Yeah, we're at a stable 60 FPS, and my computer's a POS. So it has been running fairly well, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the little tour around the truck, and, and hopefully it brings you some kind of joy. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Bye.